you go, Smurf. <laughs> Smurfing. Now I got what the have you done? half body tats peeling yeah. off the body and we sprayed my hair blue. Mm, it really smells good though. Yeah. I used, what do they call it? Just like a temporary, it's just temp a spray. spray. Temp tattoos, temp blue hair. Mm, temp. You look it's kinda cool. ridiculous. I My kinda don't know it. what's going on. It makes it look like a lot of hair. So much. I don't know. Kinda cool. I think you should go do it maybe. I'll put a little oil in it. We'll be careful because the blue will go everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. I want to go everywhere. No, like we'll go all over your hands. Yeah, I want, no, I want it on the wall. Okay. Yeah. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? Yes. What do you mean? Um, what do you mean? I'm trying to be mischievous? <laughs> mischievous. Cheeves. <laughs> Stop. Mischievous. Stop. All right. The, I got to go clean the house. Yeah, the cleaners are coming today and I am so grateful for them. And so excited um, because they just like do such a good job, way better than I could ever do. And I love when it's clean. And I think that that helps with spiders too. So that's mostly why I'm so grateful for it because I'm so freaking scared of spiders. But that's the reason why. we got new bedding and I wanted to show you guys. Uh, we didn't really get like all new bedding, but we got a new duvet that goes on the top. And if you guys remember our old place, we had two duvets on our bed. And the top one we like to double stuff, meaning we put two inserts, two duvet inserts into it to make it really thick and full and fluffy. It's extremely heavy and we do sleep with it in the winter and it feels like so nice. It's kind of like a weighted blanket vibe and super cozy and it also just looks really good. So we even keep it in the summer because aesthetically love the way it looks. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what that looks like. So it has this fringe, super nice. And I got a little throw. Um, we still have a lot of work to do on our bedding, but this was just one step that was completed. We're actually changing out our canopy bed because there's just some design issues with it. Yeah, this is just a nice little update. And then I actually just got in this big order over here from Misguided. I was just going through all of it and I'm gonna do a little mini haul for you guys and show you the pieces because they're all so cute and they sell out really fast. So I wanted to show you guys ASAP and I also picked up some like holiday things in here. Getting ready for all kinds of occasions and whatnot. This dress is super pretty. So I'm excited to do something a little fun like that. But I still have some nice comfy casual pieces, casual pieces in here as well. So let's do a little haul. This is the first outfit that I just pulled out. I need Clayton to zip the top. Clayton, could you zip my top? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Okay, so I think this could be a good holiday outfit. It's definitely on the edgier side, but you guys know I really like that style. So it's got these really pretty ruching details, which I feel like is really feminine, but then it's faux leather, so it makes it kind of edgy. I'll show you guys in the mirror too. So this is the outfit. It's kind of like matching, I think. I can't remember if these pieces came together or if they just match perfectly. They're like the same texture and color, obviously. And then I got a size zero in these pants. They fit perfect. And I got a size two in this top for their normal tops. I get a size four. And then if it's something like tighter like this, I like to get a two. So very cute. And obviously these are versatile pieces too. So you can pair this top with like jeans or skirt and you can pair these pants with so many things, sweaters, button ups, graphic tees, everything. Okay. So here is another top that you could wear with this pair of pants. It is a faux leather sort of like corset style. It's got these feminine details with the bows again which i think is a really nice contrast with the faux leather and then the shape of this kind of like goes down into a v which i feel is very flattering and kind of like cinches everything in so super cute i think that this top will be really cute layered over things too like a white button-up or maybe an oversized white t-shirt or something like that so yeah cutie and then this shirt is a little crop top it's got this cutout and kind of like a high neck super cute it's like a keyhole vibe. I did get this shirt in a size 4 which I mentioned is kind of my normal size for misguided but I didn't really realize that it was more of like a bodice style um, something I'd want to be tighter so I feel like it is just a little bit loose and I probably should have gotten a 2 
So I actually picked up this top in a couple of colors. So it comes in this really pretty sort of mint green color as well, which I really like. And then I couldn't resist it in a cheetah print. Um, animal print is just so fun. I love just the vibe that it gives. So the cut of this shirt is really cute. I love that it has a little bit of detail, but it's nothing too crazy. I would just probably recommend sizing down one. So it's like nice and fitted here because I just feel like a little too loose the way I ordered it. So here is the animal print version. Same thing with a little cut out. And then this looks really nice with the faux leather as well. And then I wanted to show you guys some faux fur jackets or I change out of these leggings because I'm going to try on like a couple dress things for you. But this jacket I have already in sort of a creamy beige color and it is so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. It's such a good fall and winter jacket. It's actually really warm and it looks very fashionable and it's kind of a statement but it's keeping you warm so it's functional and it's just everything I love in a winter coat. So I ordered it in two other colors because I love it so much. And the first color is this sort of like deep chocolatey, almost like auburn color. So it's a really pretty brown. It's got like a tint of maroon to it, I feel like too. It's actually picking up more maroon on the camera than it is in real life. It's a little bit more just like chocolatey in real life, but super nice. I love pairing this with like tight pants because it is kind of bulky. I got this in a size four, which I mentioned is my normal size. And it's kind of just like oversized. I'll show you in the mirror. Okay, so here it is in the mirror. And it just looks so good with sort of like tighter pants like this. And boots or sneakers. Last time I wore this coat and shot it on Instagram, I paired it with sneakers. Like chunky sneakers and it looks so good. But also um, boots, it's perfect. And it's just makes you feel like a boss it also has pockets which is super nice and it's kind of dressy but you can dress it down with hoodies graphic tees lots of layering and the details are just really good too like i love these bands in between but there's like little bands between each layer of faux fur and it just looks really nice so i'm going to show you that in one more color all right so the other color is this dusty blue it's kind of like a periwinkle slight tinge of like purplish gray in the blue also really pretty and unique i feel like it's a good winter color too while still being vibrant it's more just like winter tones i guess so i loved this for something a little more fun and just colorful and again i just feel like makes you feel like such a boss and i think since this is kind of like fluffy and a little bit oversized and more of a statement it looks really good with your hair pulled like slicked back in a low bun or a top knot or something like that so not really how i have it styled now at all but i just kind of like that hairstyle with this outfit or this coat i should say so i'm giving you guys some ideas into my styling vault okay this next piece is let me the autofocus go off this next piece is definitely one of my favorite pieces from this haul it is so comfortable and so cute and totally my personal style so this is an oversized sweatshirt dress i need to check what size i got so again in this i got my normal size us4 for misguided which is kind of like the true to size but oversized fit that I go for because I do like my stuff really oversized so probably my true size is like a two but I always go for a four because I like things a little bit bigger this is meant to be like a hoodie dress so it is going to come oversized anyways I probably could have done a two as well but I really like the way the four fits it's just very baggy and comfy and I love that the sleeves are really big like this, but they're still like cinched at the wrist. Really cute. It doesn't have a pocket, I don't think. No. I wish it had like a little pocket here, but overall it's just freaking adorable. It has a little hood. And I think it would look so good with like chunky sneakers, Balenciagas, or kind of combat boots. I have a white pair that I just recently got. It would be super cute with this. And fully covers your booty. So I love this. I think it's my favorite thing in the haul for sure. So definitely recommend it. All right, another piece that I'm really excited about in this haul is this jacket. So this jacket is so cute. I remember a jacket like this being really popular last year and selling out really fast. So I saw this and I was like, oh, I loved something like this last year and I never got my hands on it. So snagged this right up. It has like a faux, not shearling, but like, like a fleece. 
I don't know what the proper term for it is, but it's a fuzzy, warm, soft collar and cuff link. So, and then it's like a denim material. And I believe I got this in a US 4. Yeah, so I got this in a US 4. And let's see how it fits. Oh, it's so cute. Really like this as well. I probably wouldn't actually style it with this because they're not really like cutting each other off in the right place you can cinch this and everything but i just wanted to throw it on immediately it probably does look really cute with the hood oh yeah that's so cute so you can put your hood over it i love that it's just kind of like a comfy loose casual fit the details on this are so cute and good without being too girly or anything that doesn't go with my personal style so really like this i think this would look really good with the faux leather leggings something a little bit of a contrast instead of pairing it with denim or if you wanted to go like canadian tuxedo style this would be a really cute fun piece for that to kind of break it up a bit with the details okay next i'm gonna try on this dress which is definitely probably the fanciest thing in the haul the most dressy anyway for me and i'm thinking about wearing this to thanksgiving because it just feels like it fits the occasion so let's see Okay, I actually love this. I'll show you guys in the mirror for a fuller picture. It's definitely very holiday-esque to me and dressy and just kind of festive and fun. I need to check what size I got in this, but it fits really well. Okay, so I got a US 2 in this. I'm thinking my thought process when ordering it was probably that it has this little corset bit to it, so I'd want that to be a little bit tighter. Okay, so I even put shoes on for this one. Big deal. Um, and like I said, it's just festive and fun. It's got this like strong tool or something in it that gives it its shape and structure, which is not like a super wearable thing, but for something like a holiday or occasion, I think it's really fun to do something a little more statement-y like that. So I love this. I feel like it's really pretty and elegant, but still kind of playful and youthful. The details on it are so good so this bodice is really really pretty i love like the different directions of like the boning going this way and then the like fabric going the other way and then the sleeves are really pretty and then down here it is just super youthful and like cupcakey <laughs> but i really do like it so pretty color too and i feel like it's a perfect color for thanksgiving just like fall and kind of rustic i'm pleasantly surprised by this it's a little out of my comfort zone for my personal style but i love wearing stuff that's kind of like that and then this is the last outfit that i'm going to show you guys so i picked this out also with the holiday season in mind so it's a little bit dressier and i got a size two in this skirt it is like a little big i would say i probably could have done a two for i mean a zero for sure and it's like a velvety texture it's got this little slit with like a silk detail on it and then the top is matching it's a nice velvet texture and it's got this like side slit keyhole detail really cute and fun and i like this because it's dressy but more on the edgy side it's even like i don't know maybe like a little bit too sexy for like a family holiday occasion or something but you know i don't even know what i'm doing for the holidays this year it might just be me and the kids so this could be my christmas outfit if that's the case so really cute and fun um i got a size two in the top as well and i feel like that fits really nicely um probably could have done a zero even in that because there is a little bit of room but it definitely still works okay so that is it for this little haul I'm actually going to throw on that hoodie that I tried on in the haul because I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm going to run out and get my nails updated today. No more cows. So I'm going to take you guys to the nail salon with me and show you that little transformation. All right, so I lied yesterday. Did not bring Kamala to the nail salon. I just completely forgot why I was going out the door. And then it's just kind of crazy to bring it there. Anyways, because I obviously don't have hands while I'm getting my nails done. So, anywho, this is what we ended up with at the nail salon. Just a nice, kind of like, clear, natural, little bit of a pink color. And then I just put a rhinestone on the center of each nail. Now it's just like about to come off. So that's what I ended up with. And we are actually just about to leave the house right now, run some errands. I'm gonna shoot this outfit. I guess I'll show 
my outfit. It's really cute. My pants, I'm afraid, are sold out. So you guys are going to hate me for that. Got this fun print all over them. Platform Converse, little Prada, nylon bag. And then this is an oversized cropped biker jacket. And then I'm just wearing my Calvin, Ka Calvin Klein sports bra and a little claw clip. It's raining today. Stormy, stormy day. Okay, so we... Well, we were going to go on a walk. Yeah, the thing is, I love the rain. I really like oh to romanticize the rain and just like, like it's totally chill to walk in it and to be in it. So, wanted to go on a nice walk in the rain and we left for a walk. It wasn't raining, I mean it was... It was raining a little. Yeah, just sprinkles. Yeah, it was a chill rain. Then, <laughs> it started... Five minutes pouring. in. Five minutes in. And Clayton brought an umbrella, and it was the tiniest little umbrella. Didn't and it, umbrella yeah. Didn't know. Didn't and then it collapsed while he was holding it over his head, so, and he didn't even know. It was. I was like, you're holding an umbrella over your head, that's doing nothing. And so we were just running home from our walk in the pouring rain, laughing our asses off. It was off. so funny. It was a great time. We, when we were in Wyoming with Hunter and Julia, we watched a movie that they recommended called Midnight in Paris. Great movie. And Owen Wilson is like the main character and he wants to like walk in the rain in Paris and that is literally me. Yeah. At any opportunity, walk. Yeah. Rain, snow, or <laughs> I would walk across the world if I could. We, we threw in the towel on this one, but I still really want to be out in the rain. So now we're taking a drive. We were going to walk to a coffee shop and get a coffee and just walk with it. But we're, we're going to do that from now. the comfort of our car instead, which is fine. I just really like want to be in the rain as much as I can somehow. But when it's literally just like windy and downpouring and drenching you, it's kind of hard. It was fun for like five minutes. Yeah, it was. We were laughing. We're, so we're soaked now. Yeah. But it was fun. It never rains here, so I feel like we're Gotta take those. extra excited. Yeah. We are going to attempt some uh, home improvement projects, yeah. I guess, today. More like probably mostly organization projects. Yeah, we're gonna try to organize a little bit. Pantry. Maybe like your uh, product closet a little bit. Yeah. Um, so we might be going to the container store and picking up. I've some. never been there. Have you? I've been in there like once. There's no one. Here. No one here. Love it. What time is it? Eight. Eight. Yeah, we've been killing it this morning. Looking at the chai, please. This is fun. All right, go get drinks real quick. Now that I'm in the car, I want a cold one. Okay. With a. Okay. So we are sitting down and we're going to look up pantry organization on YouTube actually. Yep. Get some inspo for this. You you want to search that and then I'll show them the pantry. Yeah. Our pantry situation. We don't pantry have pantry organization <laughs> with the container store. With the kid. We don't have a very uh, big pantry. So it might be a little bit harder to organize. This is our pantry, so it's just like a closet pretty much. Some shelves. So it's not super deep or anything. These two top ones do have like a pullout, which can pull out right now because it's so unorganized. But that's what we're working with. So we're gonna get some inspo off YouTube and then go to the container store and hopefully make this beautiful and aesthetic. Tree trimmers came today. Damn near cut down the tree. Oh, will grow back. Okay, so the first step we're gonna do here is go through the pantry, see if we have anything that's molding, rotting, or growing legs because <laughs> we have not been through this since we really moved we've only just been throwing things in should i get like a notebook here we go yeah 
uh, to write it down. Yeah, yeah. Just like we need a bin for this or we yeah. need a bin for that. I'm gonna write like clear containers. Okay. This is the best post ever. So good. So we did a quick little clean out and I kind of have an idea of how many clear things we need or we're just kind of looking at everything we need like we want one for uh, Uncle Ben's rice, we want one for brown minute rice, we want one for normal minute rice, we want one for our spaghetti that we normally drink, eat. Mm, lentils? One for like our lentils, and then we're gonna get clear containers for like our beans and our vegetables and random other canned goods, and clear ones for cereal, maybe get like one for cereal, babe, because we normally don't really have that much cereal. I said two. Okay, that's fine. Two options for cereal. And then we, you know, we went through, mm. we still have our smart sweets. Uh, what about one for granola? Mm -hmm. We get all these things and like start condensing because like right now we just have like two things a minute rice and multiple things of Uncle Ben's. So if we condense them into one container, like it will clean it up and it will make it look a lot nicer. Like it's kind of crazy thinking like you need a ton of containers. But if you look at all your stuff and if you just can start condensing it, it will look a lot nicer and be easier to navigate so that's where we're at okay here is the list that i made we're gonna try to fit as many things into clear containers as we can because i think it just looks so much nicer so all of these are gonna be clear and then here's a couple things that probably won't go in clear containers or maybe they will i don't know maybe everything will be in a clear container but this is like a rough landscape of what we're working with going in got the commander here with their list <laughs> Lead us in the right direction, Commander. So these are kind of the, the things right here. I mean, yeah, but it might be best like... Just do them individual? Yeah. And like, I like this design more than like this design. Yeah. Well, I'm overwhelmed. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. Don't get overwhelmed. Are you overwhelmed? Yeah, yeah, but let's look at the list. What do we need? Okay, clear stuff. Looking for oats. Oats? This is maybe a good one for oats? Uh-huh. Nice size, right? Is that the same as this? Oh no. This one's a little bit bigger. Bigger, bigger. I think oats would fit in this one. Uh-huh. Don't you think? Yep. Got one for oats. Protein powder. Protein's gonna need to be one too? Oh, this yeah. one too, yeah. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, protein powder, oats, minute rice. Minute rice by the same size. Yeah. Alright? Uh-huh. Or you can go even bigger. That won't fit. Well, hey, what should I we do? The rice should all be the same. Okay, so how about two of these? So we have Colorado's minute rice, Uncle Ben's, and brown minute rice. This is five pounds of rice fits in one of these, so that should That's be good. Lot. Yeah. Brown rice, we might only need a smaller one because we don't normally have a lot of brown rice. Like this? Or that's too small? This one here, 1.7. Okay. So now we have. We have seven bins right now. Okay, but now what are those three going to be for? Oats, oh, protein, protein powder, powder, and then we need a different one. Granola? Or that's kind of big for granola. I maybe don't think we need the third one, maybe. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. And if we need more, we can come back. So, holy so spaghetti. spaghetti. Do you think it needs to be in probably a tall one? Yeah, is that like a good one? Okay, holy spaghetti. Now we need one for a few silly. Okay, a few silly. But probably this one may be a good one. Or this one. I don't know if it can fit in there. Okay, should we get this one? Just get it, and if we can use it, we can. If not, you know, we'll, we, we can bring it back, yeah. leaving with three giant bags. giant giant bags i didn't even know they made bags in the back seat didn't even know they made bags this big this is gonna be quite the project kid oh good Uber, Uber, guy. Uh -huh, that, that works. works that works we'll take it all right so here it is right now right before we're about to go in here Alexa. and really sort this Thank out you. let's get after it Let's start with a, are the rice one or all the ones that have rice on it? This? Yep. And then a brown rice is gonna be the small, small one. 
All right, here goes nothing. Minute ride. So we need some tape like that girl did. Oh yeah. So the YouTube video that we watched on how to do this, or like tips on organizing, when you get the clear containers, she said to cut the directions off the back of the bags and just tape them to the back side of the clear containers so you have the cooking instructions obviously, which yeah. was such a smart idea. Yeah. How is it? Beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at our rice. <laughs> How glorious. Happy, happy, yay, yay. I'm always worried there's gonna be like a bug in the rice. But these are just like little burnt kernels or something, right? Yeah. Okay. Why is this getting trapped? Uncle Ben's, good for a peel off. How's it going? Oh wow, well, we have a lot of Uncle Ben's. Bowls. Bowls, we love rice. Rice is my favorite food. Yeah. Nice. Uncle Look at ben. that, Uncle Ben's stuff. I think we're gonna need more. Okay. Cause like we should get one for cashews. I thought we did. Oh no, you just got one for those. Stunning. Okay. 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 Oh nice. Beautiful. Like I think I want to snack on those more now. I know. I feel like it helps us um, be more mindful of what's in our pantry and like utilize it more. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. And like these are like our stock items, you know, in a sense. Like. This is the rice we always cook with. This yeah. Is, so like, it makes it nicer. All right, so here we go. So I taped the instructions for a minute rice. Very simple instructions, but just in case we ever forget, yeah. it's right there on the back, but this is what you yeah. see from the front. You can even put it on the bottom so then you don't really see it. Look at that. I mean, that's perfect, Gorgeous. right? But should we put stuff in the back or stuff in the front? In the back, because this is like where you can pour it out. And yeah. then that would be like extra Storage. stock stuff that like okay. we don't really need. Okay. How do these fit in here? Still kind of weird. Yeah. But, you know Maybe I mean, we'll look up some organization tips for... Um, cans. Yeah. Not sure if we gave you guys like a full rundown of all the different items we got, but we got these baskets that you've seen that we found a spot for. We got these acrylic bins that we're still not really sure about. These we're thinking about we're gonna put our milk in them in the fridge to make it look a little bit better. And then these are all the different sized pop containers that we got. So they have them in different squares, kind of rectangular shapes, all little different sizes. I didn't and it didn't fit all the oats. All right, we're taking a break from this disaster. See, it is overwhelming. It is a little overwhelming, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I've been kind of hard, because Lenny's like, it's overwhelming. I'm like, no, come on, we got this, we got this. Yeah, you're keeping the spirits high, but. I keep the spirits high around here. Wait, can you grab my shoes in there? We wanted to show you guys our new ride around town. Okay, this is the best thing that has happened to us. Yes. I suck at riding bikes very badly uh, but i guess i like i don't know i just like being outside as i was saying earlier and like walking and being in the yeah open and stuff so clayton got an electric bike yep. and i have a little seat on the back check it out so we're gonna get her we're gonna get her more of like a real seat right now we're just using a pad <laughs> A workout pad. So fun. It's so much fun. But yeah, so this is the new ride. Uh, we're gonna go grab some lunch right now because we we're hungry and we need to take a little break. But Delaney's got her little seat on the back. It's electric powered, so I don't even need to pedal. Back. 
the pantry. We're feeling refreshed and renewed and we're gonna figure this out. Okay. All right, so far we have the snack and carb grab and go shelf. And then this is kind of like gonna be a breakfast shelf. So there's oats, protein powder. We'll put the cereal next to it. Here's some more carbs, rice. We're gonna put pasta in there. Then we're still figuring out the cans and other various things. All right, this is the current progress. We're still going. We got most of the bins in there. We're just kind of like tidying things up and trying to figure out how everything should fit and like what it should be next to. But it's really coming along. It looks a lot way better way better it's a very draining process actually so we've been taking a lot of breaks we're gonna have to go back to the container store yeah we need to go back we need more containers more more oh yeah 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 aye, aye, aye. but it's looking good so much better all right guys it's the next day next morning here I'm not sure exactly if we showed you guys where we're at with the pantry um the power went out today it's like super windy, super, super windy here today. So the power is out, so we're waiting for the power to come back. Cold. It's super cold in here today too. You know, the day the day we really need the heater and now the power's out. You can see, it doesn't look that windy, but like there's like major gusts. Excuse me, miss? What was that? All right, but let's show y'all the pantry. So it's really looking good in my opinion, I like it. I'm vibing with it pretty pretty hard right now. But that's the new pantry vibe. So we we want to get um, some small skinny ones for up top to put the cans in, so you could like pick them up and take them out and look at them all. Because or else you don't really know like what's back here. You have to like move all the cans. And then same goes for like the all these like sauces, broths, you know, syrups, salsas. But we're gonna go to the container store again to pick up those like long bins and maybe, let's see, we have a list kind of going. We're gonna get those long ones. We need to get one for lentils because we didn't have our lentils in there. The lentils will go right next to the quinoa. And then, oh, power's on. Oh, power's off. Darn. Got a, I got really excited there. The Raiders play in like an hour and a half, so really need that power back. I wasn't joking, it's really windy. Can we, uh, as a news reporter here, uh, going to Delaney. Oh, hi, Clay. What's it like out there? It is just... What's the I'm not familiar with that term, but that sounds pretty crazy. Oh, gust? Gusting woods? It's really... Gale force. It's really <laughs> Oh, got it. Thanks, Delaney. Cutting. Power's back on. Produce. Our fridge and everything inside made it. Love that. Today for lunch, we're going to have this uh, vegan mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. I think we've shared it in like our Trader Joe's hauls before. Super easy to make, tastes good, convenient. And maybe on top, maybe on top, nah, nah, chicken fingers. Should I do some chicken fingers on the side? Maybe I'll just do the mac and cheese. Oh, these are good though. These are the, these are the Trader Joe's tenders, vegan, vegan chicken tenders. These are really good, so maybe we'll have these. All right, since football Sunday is happening, Clayton will be babysitting the, how are you? Babysitting the TV. Babysitting the Raiders. <laughs> I'm going to put our little rows of cans in the little skinny containers. Oh, and then we have to get some lentils from the store, babe. Okay? Because oh, yeah. I really want to fill this with lentils. Because it will just be oddly satisfying, I think. And then we're pretty much going to be done with our pantry cleanup, which I am very, very happy with. So I think the container store is probably on the more pricey side of things. You could probably order everything on Amazon for cheaper. You would just want to measure and figure out i don't know it was nice to go in the store and see things like cold stuff yeah and just get like a feel for them but i do feel like it was pretty pricey so i think i think there's a store called m design i saw in the other video i watched which is on amazon that's cheaper probably so there's a little tip now let's put these in here So 
So here now we have, that is sausage. What do you call that one? I don't know. Okay. Kind of like. It's got soy sauce, it's sweet chili sesame sauce, oil. sesame oil. Smoke. Then we have a Liquid random smoke. pasta sauce. It's kind of like all the different like like countries. Like hmm. we have some Asian countries in there. We have Italy. I see. Smoke is. I don't know. American barbecue. American. We have our different vinegars and oil. And then this one, salsas. Okay, wait. Just gonna have to you got it. Mm, that was nice. Would you look at that? Okay. Wow. Oh, oh, I really want to go fill this with freaking lentils. And then those bottom two, I really want to fill with... What cereal are you going to get? I don't know. Probably... Cheerios? Like Cheerios? Ooh, we love Cheerios. Alright, so we're going to fill those things up and we'll come back for the final. Alright guys, power's out again. We just got back from the store. Raiders won, by the way. Woo! And the power's out again. Now it's night time. Yeah, just like candles and stuff. So we got all the candles lit in the house. It's actually quite bright over there. Or it really just looks like that on camera. It's not that bright. Got another candle over here. Uh, we got lentils, so we were gonna finish stocking our beautiful pantry. But uh, we'll get back to you guys. All right, Monday morning, power's back on. We're gonna, we got some lentils too. So we're gonna fi finish our pantry. Pantry stocking, we'll call it pantry stocking. And we're gonna do our weekly cleanup. We like to spend a little time on Mondays cleaning up around the house. Our kitchen is kind of a wreck right now. Kitchen needs some help. Delaney has also converted our couch into a shoe storage and I actually, I joined with her and put mine here too. So one for me three for Delaney. No, I didn't. She also likes to use this little spot. I think this one's pretty nice too. Yeah. Little corner of the rug spot for a pair of sneakers. Get a little bit hotter. It's cold outside. So we got the heat running. Got the lights back on. You know, I also wanted to talk to Delaney about this little spot. It's Clean really it. nice over here Who to- put this here? That's me, but what's everything else? You. Me? You. It's not me. You. Yeah, I wear a white dress. Yeah, so that's kind of the situation we're in, so. Situation. We're gonna clean up around here and then finish our pantry, finally, yay. That's it. It happy, took three happy days. Day, yay. It took three days before you are here. Final look.
looks really good. And like our cereal, like I'm so excited to just eat some cereal right now. Nice work, babe. All right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you.